Hey there, Brian Taylor on the Nika floor. You know, I'm so excited. I'm here with Jeff Murley at uh, Square D Lighting. Um, we were walking down the hallway here and uh, happened to get in conversation with Jeff. We have some great new technology. I'm going to let you take it from here, Jeff. Tell us about the power lighting control and some of the other stuff you got going on at the show this year. Sure. Um, well, Square D has been in the lighting control business for, for a number of years. Its name is not usually associated with lighting control. It's more, more switch gear, panel boards, and switch boards. But we do have a full line of lighting control. The heart of the product line will be what we call our PowerLink lighting control system. What this product does is an automatic is an automatic circuit breaker system. So you can program this panel so it will switch your lights on and off at scheduled times. So, for example, your business closed at 6 p.m. and you want to turn all the lights in the parking lot on at 6 and the lights off in the building, this is the product that would do that. It will handle 20 amp loads, great for macro switching. Recently, we brought in to the line a, a new line of, of, of more what I call uh, granular control, where we can actually do other things in the system. We connect to a Cat5 cable and an interface, and we can now do things like dimming, daylight harvesting, occupancy sensing, incorporate unique and uh, aesthetically pleasing input devices like uh, color touchscreens. Uh, dynamic labeling technology uh, input devices where you can actually uh, program these units with any kind of a label that you want so it's very intuitive when uh, somebody would want the lights on at a specific level it would show them here for example the scene would be in a school say taking a test or the, you heard the circuit breakers there tripping and it would set the lighting scene to that air to that level or if you had an area where you're doing some audiovisual, you would label one button, audiovisual, press that button, and you would be set up in that same mode. Again, this is a modular system. It, it, it incorporates switch, um, uh, switching, dimming, and also uh, input devices. The latest, one of the latest products, which we got a, a little uh, innovation award on, or a nomination for an innovation award, is what we call our area lighting panel. Now what that does for the, the electrical contractor is bring the controls to the space where he's actually, he actually needs the controls. And what that does is avoid all the wiring, the home runs from the, from the main panel to, the, to the, the lighting control unit. Everything is done at the space. So all these input devices can be connected through here and can be, to, can be uh, interfaced at the point of the, the use. So you're saving all of that time and money and, and uh, material of running separate feeds back to the, the, the uh, main panel. So you can see, if you take a look at, a, we can illustrate this, if you want to take a look at this graphically, you take a look at, this is how it really would look online. You've got your, your heart of your system here, which is the power link panel. You interface through Cat5 cable into these input devices, which I talked about before, which would be the, the touch screens, the uh, keypads, and you have output devices, you have your 12-channel relays where you can do switching, four-channel relays, changeover relays, dimming. You can actually do incandescent and fluorescent dimming through this system. And it's all programmed and can be brought back through your, it has a, uh, an internet address. So it can be brought back onto your laptop, programmed on your laptop, and you can develop a web page. So you can look at your building from any spot that you wanted to and see what's happening as far as the lighting goes. Wow. So it's a very unique, versatile system, and it's, it, it covers the complete range of, of lighting control from the, the larger power switching to the more micro switching or sub-circuit switching with the relays. So we had some more stuff to look at here at uh, Square D, you know, I'm with Jeff and everybody. So Jeff, you said now in conjunction with this, we've moved over to another part of the booth to show some more of the great technology from Square D. So what's this we have here? Yeah, this is our new product line of, of occupancy sensors. We just brought this product line on this year. It includes very simple wall switch replacements where you can remove a simple on-off toggle switch, replace it with an automatic wall switch sensor. What this does is it senses the presence of a person in the space turns the lights on. When there's nobody in the space, it turns the lights off. Very simple concept, saves energy, and is, is a, a very uh, green product. We have different versions of the technology. We have passive infrared overhead, which looks down on a space. If you had, a, a, for architectural reasons, you would want to right mount the, the sensor on the ceiling. This would look down on the area and give you a, a coverage pattern all the way up to 1,000 square feet. Another technology is what we call ultrasonic 
The beauty of this technology is it does not necessarily have to see you to detect you. A great application for this product would be in a restroom. We have privacy stalls. And you, any kind of motion in that room, whether you're seen or unseen by the sensor, will keep the lights on. When it senses no more motion, it will keep the lights off. The last and, and probably the most popular version of overhead sensors is what we call a dual technology. What that sensor does is take advantage of the pluses of both passive infrared and ultrasonic and negates the, the negatives. This device would have to see actual human motion to turn on and then the ultrasonic would remain on and pick up any minor motion. The unit then will, will stay on until the, the, the space is, is vacated. The plus of this device is that it will not do, it takes both technologies to turn the lights on, that way avoids any false ons. So, it, and this is the beginning of a line that we're, we'll be continuing to introduce into next year. We'll have a, probably seven new uh, products available in the first quarter of 2008. You notice we've called this the unhassled program because we feel like these sensors are, are very simple to install. They're very contractor friendly. They have a lot of features that, that the contractors really like, like easy access to their controls, easy adjustments, and selectable voltage in the power packs. So all in all, we're very excited about this line, and we're looking forward to next year to bringing more products on. That's great. Well, you heard it all here first, everybody. Square D, they got more products in the pipeline, some great stuff here at this year's uh, NECA conference. This is Brian Taylor. Thanks for watching.